Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a bread and butter Bolo video for you guys. Items that I bought low and sold for $35 or less. These are items that I pick up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, basically anywhere. Facebook Marketplace. Um, i trying to think where else I source. Oh, Donna and T's Auctions, which is Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You. There's links to their channels down in the description. Um, yeah, I source. I like to source. I source too much. If you have a problem with sourcing too much, put down in the comments, source too much. Um, I have a feeling there might be a few of you. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And hopefully this teaches you guys and helps you guys learn about items that I have sold that you can look for when you're outsourcing. So uh, it's a what sold video. Great way to learn about new items. All right, let's get started. Source too much. That's me. I love it. All right, I'm getting sidetracked. All right, the first item that sold is this Loving Family dollhouse. Uh, speaking of sourcing too much, I have like a tote full of dollhouse furniture I need to list. Um, I sold this for $11.10 and the buyer was all in for $16.97 and it's just a little picnic table for uh, the Fisher Price dollhouse. So definitely easy to list, easy to ship, fun little bolo. Bread and butter, major bread and butter. So if you're looking for higher margins, this probably is not the item for you. The next item I sold is this Polly Pocket Sunshine Beach doll pet clothing set. It is missing a pair of shoes, so I did put that it is incomplete. This sold pretty quickly, and I got this from a mystery vintage toy box from Auctions for You, and uh, the buyer ended up paying the asking price of $14.80 plus shipping, so they were all in for $22.38 for this. The next item that sold is this Snuffleupagus. He is a little figure from 2010. That's what it says on the bottom. You guys, this guy sold for um, a best offer of $14.28. He's just a little Snuffleupagus toy. How cute is that? Uh, buyer was all in for $19.65 for him. And I was going through stuff the other day and I found another one. So I... I hit, I think I hit sell similar or relist or something like that because it was the same. So I was excited when I saw him. I was like, he is a great bread and butter bolo. I need to get him listed. And this one came from the bins. Uh, that's where you buy by weight. So he probably was pretty cheap because he's not very big. He's what, two and a half inches approximately? Just a little guy. The next item I sold is this cat's meow lot. I picked these up at a uh, garage sale. I picked up like three boxes full. I've done very well with them. Uh, some of them I listed individually. Some of them I lotted up. This was a lot of Ohio. Um, so they all had something to do with Wooster, Ohio. So I lotted them together. Took a best offer of $33. The buyer was all in for $45.42. And I probably have a couple bucks in all of them total. The next item is this cute little toothpick holder. I pulled this out of a mystery box, one of my Christmas mystery boxes from the thrift store. And this sold for $10, best offer, buyer all in for $16.02. The next item that sold is this vintage Longenberger pottery heart plate. Um, I don't pick up Longenberger baskets very often, but I do lean towards the pottery, even though they're breakable. Typically, if they have a box, I will pick them up. Um, I got this at a garage sale for $1 and it sold for $20 buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this two headed monster. And I started the auction at $9.99. I think this is like a, um, I don't know. I couldn't find like a brand on it. So I don't know if it's, I don't want to say a knockoff, but, um, it's not like a branded toy. It, uh, I wish I could explain this better, but I, I do feel like it was a hard to find toy. I did a Google lens and I did find the item, but I cannot remember what exactly it said. 
I do, however, wish that I would have started the auction higher because I got a bid on this really, really quickly. So if more than one person would have been looking for it, I think it would have gone for more if there was a bidding war. But um, it may have been, I may have done better doing a buy it now or best offer. But who knows? I could be wrong. Uh, but definitely toys, even though they're not marked, you can still make money on them. And this guy sold for $9.99. The buyer was all in for $15.81. The next item are these Einstein DVD set. I got this at a garage sale, or nope, thrift store. Sorry, thrift store for $3. Uh, the ones I got at a garage sale are still sitting in my garage. Whoopsie. Uh, sold these for $30. The buyer was all in for $36.97. The next item that sold is this Sniffles book. Uh, by Stephen Cosgrove. It's a book that I got for a quarter at a thrift store and I sold it for $18.50 and the buyer paid the shipping. So they were all in for $24.51 for that book. The next item I sold are these Speary Men's Shoes. And I want to say these are the ones that I got at that garage sale for free, but don't quote me on that. Uh, but typically I pay $5 or less for shoes. I don't sell a ton of shoes. But um, that's why I'm thinking these came from the free garage sale. I think these and those Kenneth Cole boots. But I sold these for $25 on best offer and the buyer was all in for $38.99. The next item I sold is this micro cassette tape recorder. Super fast sale. Sold it for $33.30. Buyer was all in for $41.70 and I picked it up at a garage sale for $1.00. Definitely be on the lookout for these mini tape recorders. Um, they do pretty well. The next item is this Charming Tales Little Mouse. And I sold this one for $23.68. The buyer was all in for $31.78. And I got this at a thrift store for $3. All right, you guys. This is a Fisher Price little mini figure. So the bottom looks like this. And I sold this for $8.88. This is Sven the Reindeer from the Frozen movie. $8.88, buyer paid, shipping and tax. So they were all in for $14.97 for this little reindeer. So definitely a bread and butter, but very cool. Now, I mentioned that I don't buy a lot of Longenberger baskets. This is one that I did buy. One, because it wasn't huge, so the shipping, the size of the box that I would need to ship it was manageable, and it had to do with Halloween. So I went ahead and picked that one up, and it sold for a best offer $25. The buyer was all in for $35.80, and it did sell quickly. The next item I sold is this Mr. Potato Head electronic handheld game from 1997, Got it at a thrift store for $2 and it sold for $16.28. The buyer was all in for $24.52. If you would like to see how this game works, you can go over to my reseller testing products YouTube channel and I have a little video showing you exactly how to play this game. The next item that sold is this brooch. I got it at a garage sale for a buck and it sold for a best offer of $20. And the buyer was all in for $27.46. The brand is Coalport. Never heard of it. It's a fine bone china pen. And it's pretty. But um, there it is. But yeah, sold for $20. So not too bad. The next item I got, or I sold, is this Disney figure bear transforming Merida. So I have sold this bear before. It is definitely a Bolo item that will sell. Now it has a mini figure that fits inside of it that is actually Merida from the Brave movie, her mom. This is just the bear suit. And I sold the bear suit for $8.88 and the buyer paid shipping. So a lot of times people have this and they lose the bear and then they need the bear only. So it's kind of a replacement. But uh, definitely a cool item. And I have actually found two or three. So they you can find them typically at garage sales. The next item is this Zuma Paw Patrol boat. Sold it for $13.32. The buyer was all in for $18.97. 
Uh, I can't remember if this was a garage sale, a thrift store, mystery box. Not sure, but my cost of goods was probably like 50 cents or something like that. Uh, I don't typically pay a lot for the, the vehicles. The next item is this Dungeons and Dragons book. This came out of a game, a Dungeons and Dragons game. It was just put in there for storage. And I pulled this and some dice and some other things that did not go in the game. And I've been selling those individually and they're selling better than the game. Um, I ended up parting out the game actually because it was missing stuff. Uh, so I sold this for $25.90 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this willow tree figure. Um, I got this at a thrift store. Or no, wait, I'm sorry. A garage sale and I paid $5 for it. Some of the willow tree sell for more. This one was a major bread and butter. $5 was probably a little more than I should have paid for it, but um, I still made money. I sold it for $14.80 and the buyer paid the shipping. Uh, I think I probably would have felt more comfortable at two or three bucks, but I always do well with willow tree. So with the $5, I just went ahead and bought it. The next item I sold is this Furby. And I got it for a dollar at a garage sale and it sold for $22 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I have no idea what this is. Uh, it's a Kung Zhu battle armor. And I think it fits those little like pets, those animal hamster things that run around. It's armor or something for it. But yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can get a close up of the picture here. Yeah, you just put this armor over it. And I don't know if they run into each other or what. But this sold super, super fast. Um, I couldn't find any comps really that I, I I found them, but I don't know. It was weird. So I just kind of priced it low. And it sold fast. So maybe I was too low. Maybe I just happened to have the right buyer waiting on the item. But it sold for $12.50 plus tax and shipping. And that came out of a mystery box. The next item I sold is this Loving Family bathroom set. So it's got the little sink and it has the little toilet and it's got the little toilet bowl cleaner, which is hilarious. And it sold for $16 best offer. Buyer was all in for $23.44 with tax and shipping. The next item I picked up at a garage sale. It also sold very fast. It's a North Face face cover. So it's great for like skiing or in the winter. And I paid $2 for this at a garage sale, sold it for 20 best offer. Buyer was all in for $27.23. This Polly Pocket came out of a mystery box. This is a vintage one. It is Bluebird. It's from the 90s. And you can see here, it says Bluebird on the bottom. That is one giveaway that it is vintage. And I sold this for $14.80 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item are these pins. Again, not something that I would have picked up, but they were a part of that bulk buy jewelry lot that I bought, the 344 pounds. So I went ahead and these had the same ESPN theme to them. So I put them together and they actually sold, I wouldn't say fast, but they actually sold. Let's just say that I was a little surprised at $13.32 and the buyer was all in for $19.43. The next item that sold is this DVD Veggie Tales. Uh, whenever I find sealed kids DVDs, I will typically pick them up if they were a dollar or less just because they are sealed and I know I don't have to worry about testing them and they don't take up a lot of room. So if they sit for a little bit, I'm good with that. This one sold for $10 best offer and the buyer was all in for $13.49. The next item that sold is this Braun Contour Electric Shaver. I think this is my last one and the shavers are gone from that little pickup from that garage sale. I think by the time I divided it out, I had about $3 in each one. This one sold for $18.50 best offer. Buyer was all in for $31.38. This is a wish come true leotard. And I believe this came out of the Halloween mystery or no, it wasn't a mystery box. It was a Halloween box that I bought on auctions for you. She was showing the box. Um, I didn't see everything if I remember correctly. I came in late or something, but I ended up getting a really great deal on a box of Halloween items. 
And this is one of the costumes that was in there. It did have some dance stuff in it, which is fine with me uh, because dance stuff can do decent depending on the brand and the sizes. But this one is called a wish come true. And I ended up taking a best offer of $15 and 99 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Um, again, auctions for you and Donatella Bottolino are the two that um, I purchased the dibble boxes, the mystery boxes, and I also will bid on their items at auction. So I do have them linked down below. This is a Starbucks uh, coffee mug. And it's funny because I walked away from it and I comped it in the car and I went back and got it. Um, it sold super fast. It's a 2000 and uh, I cannot talk. 2010 Starbucks 20 ounce like tapered coffee mug. I took a best offer of $17. The buyer paid $28.12. That's what they were all in for with this mug. And I paid 50 cents at a garage sale. The next item is this Coca-Cola Barbie. She sold super fast. Um, I actually got two of these. They were $5 each. Um, just super fast sale. Best offer of $30. And the buyer was all in for forty ten. And if I remember correctly, I think that went internationally. All right, these are the Fisher Price Big Zoo Elephant and Hippo. So these are big. Um, you can see right here. And I do have a video on my reseller testing products. If you want to see how they work, you can check that out. I took a best offer of fifteen dollars on these, and the buyer paid um, the shipping. The next item that sold are these um, crafter dolls. Okay, so I did a video about how to get ink off of dolls and I decided that I was not gonna take the time to get the ink off of the dolls. Some of them, the ink came off that I tried this trick on. Some of them, it didn't work as well. It just depends on the material of the doll. But you can definitely check out that video. I do have it on this channel. Uh, yeah, you guys. So I was like, I bet I can sell that. And I kind of challenged myself to list this. And guess what? It sold. Uh, I sold these crazy little markered up dolls. I mean, look at this one. It's got, they're, me they're a mess. But uh, it sold for $22.50 and the buyer paid shipping. So I have no idea what the person is going to do with these dolls. I would love to know. But um, yeah, should be interesting. And the next item is this Polly Pocket um, Disney Magic Clip dolls. Um, so they are little uh, Disney princesses. And I sold these for a best offer of $30. The buyer was all in for $38.13. And I have two other ones on here that I must have put on another screen and wrote it on the wrong spot. So that concludes this video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, that was uh, 36 bread and butter bolos items. You can buy low and sell for $35 or less on eBay. All right, you guys, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.